Alrighty, everybody. Good morning. Hello and welcome. DSP here, live on the stream. Today is Friday, April 28th, 2017. The month is counting down and... Great balls of fire! It's time for today's gameplay stream. <laughs> you may be wondering... <laughs> You may be wondering why I just said that. One of the big things trending this morning on Twitter, I'm not even lying, this is absolutely true, is that WWE is doing a Raw exclusive pay-per-view in July. They do this from time to time now, especially now because uh, because they now have the WWE Network. These pay-per-views really don't do much airtime or uh, anything on TV anymore. Um, so they have these new kind of uh, show-specific pay-per-views again like they used to. And they have renamed the one in July, Great Balls of Fire. And people are fucking laughing hysterically and making the living fun out of WWE. I mean, holy shit. Talk about being out of touch with your customer base. Yes. Great Balls of Fire. So that is it officially today. We are renaming today's stream, Great Balls of Fire. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Oh my god. I don't know what's happening anymore. <laughs> the world has gone officially crazy. So anyway, everyone. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? Hopefully you're doing well. Today's gameplay stream. Something different for you. Yet again, this is actually the fourth new release game of this week that I'm checking out. Uh, we're going to be playing a game called Little Nightmares. So, this game, at least from what I've seen, seems to be a unique combination of the puzzling and side-scrolling uh, 2D gameplay of recent games such as, like, uh, Limbo, um, Unraveled, games like that, okay? But, it has a very Tim Burton-esque uh, spin on it. I guess what the, the premise of the game is supposed to be is that you are kind of being chased and or attacked by uh, things that when you're a little kid you would be afraid of or you'd have nightmares about. So just think about that. Monsters or the dark or, you know, things that when you grow up they're not scary anymore. You learn not to be afraid of these things. But all those childhood fears coming back to haunt you, right? That's basically what this game is supposed to be. Alright? So... Let's, uh, you know, we're going to be doing that today, and from what I'm going to understand, this game is only about four hours long. Apparently, some people have rushed through it, <clears throat> not really caring about any kind of lore or whatever, and just rushing right through it, and they beat it in around two hours, but I guess the average time to complete this game, people are saying, is around three and a half to four hours long, okay? Um, I guess we're going to find out today together, as we play it on stream here, right? So, we will find out as... Whoa. Whoa. That was an explosion. Oh, by the way, I just realized I have the wrong pop-up messages up, so I'm going to have to change those in a moment, which is fine. It's easy to change those on the fly. Um, I just simultaneously got two tips at the same time. Hold on. So, first of all, I got a tip from... Dan... Dan Gone Romp... Dan Gone Rompa. Dan Gone Rompa. He says, he took me a buck and he says, finish the game. I will be. As I already said, I will be resuming my Danganronpa playthrough next week. And that will be balanced in with all the stuff in, in May. And it will be completed by the end of May. So there you go. And then uh, Ratchafan12 just tipped me five bucks and says, love your fighting game coverage, Phil. Can't wait for Injustice 2. Me either. I think that May is going to be quite an awesome month. You know, looking at the lineup of stuff that's available in May. Um... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, looking at the lineup of games coming out in May, we got an exceptional lineup. We start the month with a Neo DLC and then Prey. And then uh, then we've got Injustice 2, right? There's a possibility I may be doing a PSVR game, but we'll see. It depends on how things go with Injustice 2. Um, there's actually two... Oh, damn, there's actually two PSVR games coming out in the month of May. Now that I'm looking at it. There's a few games that are kind of uh, maybes for me in the month of May. But, uh, you know, I'll also be covering... I'll be continuing with my Persona 3 playthrough. Danganronpa. 
There's going to be a lot of stuff going on in May. It's going to be a good month, in my opinion. I think people are really going to like it. It may get people excited again. You know, because the month of April, a lot of people were like, meh. Persona 5, and that was really it for them. There wasn't really anything bigger, big to check out or be interested in. Um, especially if you're not a JRPG fan, you probably didn't care about Persona 5 at all, right? So I guess we'll see. We'll see how May goes. But anyway, back to the subject, okay? Little Nightmares, today's stream. Uh, we're going to be focusing on this game and maybe even finishing it. I mean, if people are saying the game is around four hours long, um, then we may be wrapping up Little Nightmares here all in one session. So yet again, another really short indie game. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay. Um, and we'll go from there. If I do finish the game, FYI, just so everyone knows, if I do finish this game today, or let's say I get close to the end, then tomorrow's stream will be me completing this game and or more Persona 5. Okay. I guess I said Persona 3. People are saying I said Persona 3. Oops. Well, I certainly didn't mean to say that. <laughs> I meant Persona 5, folks. Persona 5. I just got a dollar a tip from Shiro Akiyama, and it's all in uh, Japanese, so I can't read it. <laughs> Someone actually tipped me in Japanese. A dollar tip. So thank you for the tip, but I can't read what you said. There you have it. So, yeah, this should be something different and interesting and fun. Hopefully it's a good game today. And we'll check this out together. Oh, shout out to Tantamouter99, who did a... 99, I, I mean, I always do this. I always put a name at the end of his name. For, for, uh, oh my god, I can't speak English today. What is going on? Let me... Let's start this over. Slap my face here. And try to freaking speak normally. Tantamouter did a 99-bit cheer... And said Persona 3 hype. <laughs> no, we're not playing Persona 3 again. Uh, uh, oh my god, excuse me. Everything is exploding. Everything's going wrong today. I don't know what's happening. My mom. <laughs> I've got a blubber mouth today. And now I'm exploding. Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> Let's. <laughs> oh. Shout out to Marky117, who just did a 20-bit cheer, and he said, Injustice 2, Tekken, and Marvel hype. What a good year. Kaisen just did a 20-bit cheer. He says, when's Persona 5? As I was saying, tomorrow will be Persona 5, it looks like. If I finish up Little Nightmares today, tomorrow will definitely be Persona 5. If I don't finish up uh, Little Nightmares today, then I'll finish it tomorrow on stream, and then we'll switch over to Persona 5, okay? Okay. <laughs> There you go. There's your answer. Um, what else? Well, tonight I have some personal stuff I need to take care of. I got a lot of shit that's kind of been building up that I haven't had time to do. Like, I got a stack of bills I gotta pay. Um, I gotta make a couple phone calls. Uh, I have to go out and I think I have to try to wash my car tonight. I got a lot of stuff I need to do tonight. Um, so tonight I will not be doing anything. No reviews, no offline content, nothing. All right? Um, last night, I released my review of Outlast 2 over on KO Gaming. I don't know if you checked it out yet. That's youtube.com forward slash KO Gaming 1. Uh, I have not checked the review at all, so I have no idea what the reaction is to the review. I don't know if people agree or disagree. Uh, honestly, it doesn't matter. The review's already out. <laughs> so I hope that you enjoyed it if you did watch the review. Um, tomorrow, like I said, we'll have a stream of either little the, the conclusion of Little Nightmares... And or Persona 5. And then tomorrow night, I'll be doing the weekly preview. Okay? And a few other things. We'll see. But, you know, it's probably going to be offline stuff that I'm not going to be, uh... I'm not going to be streaming or anything tomorrow night. Sunday! Sunday is a big day, ladies and gents. I hope you'll be here Sunday for sure. Sunday is the worst games ever marathon as nominated and voted on by the February patrons. Alright? <clears throat> And the games that will be played are Ride to Hell Retribution, Revolution 60, and Scarface. So, that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I hope you'll be here. That's starting at noon. FYI, that, that stream is starting an hour later than usual. In the morning, what I'm actually doing is we're going to take advantage of the fact that I'm doing a marathon that day. 
And we're going to use our slow cooker to make some pulled pork. But it takes 10 hours to make pulled pork. So what I'm going to do is wake up in the morning and uh, prepare this pulled pork. We got actually we have this giant chunk of freaking pork shoulder. I have to chop it in half. And then we have to put the preparations and everything into the slow cooker and get the thing going before I start streaming. So that's why I'm actually starting stream around noonish on Sunday, noon Pacific time. And that stream will go on till around 7 p.m. ish Pacific time. Okay. So that should be fun. A fun marathon, awesome stream. And then after that, of course, I'll be eating the pulled pork. <laughs> so that's my Sunday. Uh, and then Monday's my day off, where I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff on Monday. We're actually bringing in my my vehicle for pre-inspection to return it for the, the lease that's ending in June. I may be test driving some cars on Monday for the first time. So a lot of stuff I need to do on Monday. I'll push errands and stuff, but that's my day off, typically. And then Tuesday we will return with... The Neo DLC. This DLC, apparently, you're, you're setting up to fight a giant dragon boss. That's kind of the theme of the DLC, as you go through many different stages to finally reach a giant dragon who you fight at the end, I guess. So, that's going to be fun. The next few days will be pretty good, folks. I hope that you'll join me here daily on stream for everything new every single day. Alright, except for Monday, where I won't be here, obviously. Um... A few things, as we're coming to month end, everyone. A few things to mention, all right? Um, first of all, first of all, folks. I may have some really, really good news in the next day, in fact. I just want to have the, the news confirmed 100%, okay? Um, and it's in regards to YouTube. No, it's not that YouTube ad revenue has gone back up, because it hasn't. YouTube ad revenue remains stagnant. Remains pretty bad, honestly. It's funny because when I have a day when there's a new release, like, for example, Outlast 2, that day there was a big spike in ad revenue, but then it immediately, like, tanks the next day. It's because a lot of people show up to my channel that one day to watch the new release, and then after that it kind of dies down again. It goes back to the average views, which is funny because if you actually look... My views haven't gone down at all. My views have been consistent since the summer of last year, according to YouTube. Yet the ad revenue has plummeted because YouTube fucked up. Okay. Um, so I'll have some information for you in the next few days. All right. Actually, it, should, it might be tomorrow. Okay. But let me give you a, uh, the one thing that I'll say is this. If this happens, if this good news happens, I don't want to jump the gun. Um, then what it looks like will be happening is that marathon that I'm doing on Sunday, all right, I will be doing the marathon here on Twitch no matter what, but I may be holding off on uploading the videos to YouTube for a day or so, um, and then maybe, you know, during the week, maybe I'll slowly release those videos of the stuff that I did during the Worst Games Marathon, um, yeah. And you'll understand once I explain to you what's going on. I just don't... Again, I don't want to... Uh, I know what's going to happen. Is the second that I make this announcement, something won't, won't fall through. And because it isn't foolproof yet, I don't want to announce it yet. Okay? <clears throat> so, I should shortly have information. Good news for you. Alright? And if it is... If it does go through the way that I, I'm expecting it to, things may be... Uh, pretty positive, honestly. So we'll see, okay? Alright. So, more on that tomorrow, okay? More on that tomorrow, folks. Um, but also, since we are approaching the end of the month here, there's a few things I need to mention and bring up here on pre-stream. Number one, it's pretty much your last chance, folks, uh, to... Get in on my April Patreon, okay? And I'm not joking here. It really is two days left. Two days left for you to get in on my April Patreon. Um, and what can you get in on? Well, first of all, if you pledge five bucks or more at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil, um, then you will be getting in on the new monthly goal, which is... Uh, the Patron's Choice Playthrough. You'll be nominating and voting on games over the course of the month of May, for which will become a full playthrough starting this summer, okay? You know, I gotta finish up Rampa first, which I'm gonna finish up in May, guaranteed, and then the next game will begin probably sometime in June. 
So, previous games that have won this kind of event voting have been games like Persona 4, Yakuza 5, Minecraft, um, among a few others. I think uh, at one point Banjo Kazooie was one of them, right? Crash Bandicoot has won this. They've turned into some pretty awesome playthroughs. And, you know, in general, the patron's choice allows me to open my eyes to game series and stuff that normally I would not be aware of or play here on stream, right? So it's pretty awesome. You know, Rampa, which I'm playing right now, I didn't even know it existed at all. I didn't even know the series existed or what it was. And then I started playing. I'm like, I really like this. This is really awesome. You know? So, again, another uh, another situation where people opened my eyes to a game series I didn't know existed. And I really enjoy it now. So, pretty good if you, if, you know, it's pretty important to get in on that. You actually control the destiny of myself and my channels in a lot of ways, right? So, I hope that you'll definitely consider pledging to my Patreon for that within the next two days. You have to pledge by the end of April, okay? Uh, shout out to DS Pizza. Who just took me a buck as a Danganronpa 2 playthrough hype for patron's choice. <laughs> well, I mean, that's the thing. If people want to see Danganronpa 2 right away, I could end up being that, but we'll see. Um, also, now it's not only about that monthly goal. Even if you don't care about uh, maybe the patron's choice playthrough, you get personal uh, perks, such as getting text or verbal thank yous in my videos, getting your questions answered on my bi-monthly show, Ask the King, getting premium forum access, Getting a private Q&A video made just for you. There's a lot of cool things you can get uh, out of being a patron of mine, okay? So, please folks, if you have not considered it yet, please consider pledging to my Patreon. It's incredibly important right now because, as I've been saying uh, for the past few weeks, right now is crunch time for me. I have about two weeks left from now that I need to get through financially. Where my mortgages have to be paid, my dues have to be paid. Uh, when I mean by that, I mean the condo fees and stuff that associated with my mortgages. Um, credit card bills, loan bills, health insurance bills, everything needs to be paid. I'm actually tonight, like I said, scheduling all those bills to be paid. But I'm nervous about all of them clearing with my bank account because I made almost no money on YouTube in February. This was the month when the ad revenue dipped on YouTube. And that was before I made my stream changes. So I wasn't doing the new streaming methodology yet here on, on Twitch, and therefore I wasn't making the increased revenue on Twitch to make up for the lost revenue on YouTube. So really, I am kind of just screwed, honestly. Um, you know, money isn't going to fall out of the sky. And if I can get through the next two weeks, about mid-May, I'm going to get the payments for both YouTube and Twitch for March, which actually were much better. The YouTube ad revenue went slightly back up, but then I made a lot of money on Twitch because it was the new streaming method. Um, so I think I will be okay. But that's the problem here is I certainly wasn't expecting a 50% decrease in the money I was making on YouTube in February. And there was no way I could account for that or make up for it. It wasn't like I had, oh, here's this giant nest egg I was sitting on that I can pull from to make up for it. No. Um, all the, the bullshit hardships that I've gone through in the past three years here, you know... With YouTube changing their algorithms and screwing me over in one way with views and false copyright strikes screwing me over and all these things screwing me over. Uh, I've never been able to bounce back and it sucks, I know, because I know you guys love my streams and you love my videos and you want to see me keep doing this. And I hate to have to appeal to you guys on a daily basis for this. I really do. And what I'm hoping, fingers crossed, is that I can get through the next two weeks and then once we hit mid-May and all the, the money clears basically... That I don't have to do this every day. I can just remind you briefly. Hey, do you want to you know, send me a, a cheer with bitch? You want to sub or you want to tip me? Great, do so. And that's it. I don't have to sit here and harp on it, right? But right now, sadly, that's not the case. All right? Right now, uh, I really need your help. So, Patreon is one major way that you could help me because that, that, that actually I'll get that payment in early the first week of uh, May there. All right? So, please consider pledging if you haven't. Number two, Teespring. You can see that on your screen right now. Teespring.com, my store there, has tons of merch. Tons of, uh, you know, shirts. Uh, all kinds of stuff. Great logos. High quality stuff. Give it a look. If you buy anything from there, I get that those funds right away. And it helps me out significantly. Alright? Or, the third method, folks, would be during today's stream and or any streams, if you want to tip me. Okay? If you don't know how to do that... If you're watching the stream and you want to tip me, 
look directly below the stream, okay? And below the stream, you've got a, a grid there of all information. You got links to all of my stuff. You got my rules listed for the stream. But there's also a section there that says tips. Just click on that. It'll take you to my tips page. And then you can choose to either tip anonymously or you can leave a personalized message that will pop up and display on the stream here, okay? If you tip me, I get that money right away as well. And that means within the next week or two weeks, I can put that into my bank account and I can pay, help it to pay the bills, all right? Once, like I said, once we get through this next two weeks, I won't have to bring this up anymore. I will bring it up just as a quick plug, but I won't say, oh, this is the recommended way that you can you can support me. I'll say, hey, anything is equal. At that point, you can cheer with bits, you can sub. But right now, it's really important. If people can support me, please do one of those three methods, okay? Because I need to get through these next couple of weeks. I, I can't have my bank account bounce and have my bills be unpaid that will completely screw me over so please if you can help please help me um all right tyler the drawer thanks you for the 69-bit cheer i appreciate that <clears throat> all right folks so we're gonna start shortly here with little nightmares we'll see how it goes see if this is ends up being a fun game or not i don't know uh i hope so People are saying it's very creepy, it has, you know, scary stuff in it, but, you know, also the fact that it's only four hours long, we could beat it in one sitting, I mean, <laughs> so I guess we'll judge for ourselves, it might be a very unique game, you know, just yesterday I finished up uh, What Remains of Edith Finch, and that game was one of the shortest games I've ever played, but it also was one of the most unique, and I'm actually very happy that I played it, despite the fact that it was 20 bucks for two hours, uh, I really enjoyed it, so... Ah. So, is there anything else I should talk about before we get started here, folks? Anything in particular? What do you guys think? Any questions you want answered here on pre-stream before we jump in? Since this game is so short. Ha ha ha! They call me Jim Bob says, Edith Finch was like Final Destination the game. Yeah, I guess it was. It was like every person died of a really bizarre way, right? Really weird shit. I think the most ironic death in that game was the guy who was in a fallout shelter for 30 years thinking the world had ended. And then the second he steps out of the fallout shelter, he gets hit by a fucking train. <laughs> that was fucked up, man. That was fucked up. Breckenridge says, "Do I ever plan? Do I live? To, do I plan to live in Washington State for my whole life, or do I plan to move back to Connecticut? I have no plans to move back to Connecticut. It's too expensive there. There's no reason for me to go back to Connecticut besides my parents. So if and when I, you know, I ever go to visit, I'll visit them, or whatever. But I'm not going to be going back there to live there ever. No way. That would be, that would be insane. I'd be, I." Immediately, I'd start paying thousands of dollars in more taxes. I'd be paying more for everything because it's more expensive to live. Their cost of living is much higher in Connecticut than it is here in Washington. Ah. Ratchet Fan wants to know, what do I think of this year so far in terms of gaming? It's been great. Just think about all the... Every month we've had consistently good releases. Think about this. January, we had Yakuza 0 and Resident Evil 7. February, we had Neo. And then end of February into March, we had Horizon Zero Dawn. We had Zelda. Then we had uh, the Dark Souls 3 DLC, which was great, in my opinion, right? And then April here, we've had Persona 5. I actually really liked Ukulele, although a lot of people didn't. Um... You know, and a couple good Telltale games this month, too. So every month we have some pretty big releases. There hasn't really been any downtime at all. It's just been release after release after release with new stuff every week, which is good. That's good. It keeps people excited and engaged, you know. And although, you know, there are people who only come around for the giant high-profile releases, and I get that. I get the feeling when I play Injustice 2 in May, you're going to see a new, a new group come in who haven't watched my stuff in a while. We're going to be coming in and watching daily as I cover the characters and I play through the story mode and then I go online with each character and I play with them against people and try the different modes. You're going to see it's going to be a different kind of attitude and a different group of people coming in here. Yeah, and yeah, there's going to be some negativity, but in general with this new streaming methodology where I interact with people, I think it's going to be great. 
<clears throat> Tyler Holmes 12 says, do I ever play on playing plan on playing MLB the show? I was going to play it, but then the Dark Souls 3 DLC got released that same week and that took priority and then I ended up never playing it. Uh, oh my god. Uh, excuse me. So yeah, it never happened. Um, however, as I've said, a sports game is a sports game. It's not like a sports game is a narrative-based game that's tied to a certain time frame. So for example, let's say things die down in June or July and it's slow and people and I have really nothing to do for a while. I could always get MLB and play it then, right? MLB is the kind of game, I, if, if I played it, I think it would be really good for stream interaction because obviously if you're just playing fucking baseball, you don't need to be constantly paying attention to the game. I could be talking with people in stream chat. And then, of course, if I get a hit or I get a home run or whatever, <sighs> right, then I think that people would be excited and cheer and do stuff like that when it happens, you know. So, so we'll see. We'll see what happens and see how it goes. Oh, shout out to Ryan... Olos, Ryan Olos, who just subscribed with Twitch Prime for the second month of the row. He says, best of luck with everything, Phil. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Appreciate that. Will I ever consider playing music? Absolutely not. Spitzer is asking, can you play music? No, are you crazy? That would be a terrible idea. That's how you get into copyright trouble. That's how you get your, your everything uh, flagged. Okay. All right, everyone. I guess what I'll do, let's end pre-stream. I have to run over to the PC quickly because I need to set up the, these pop-up messages. As you can see, are still the Persona ones. I forgot to swap back over to the more generic ones. So I'll do that quick. And uh, and then we'll get started with uh, Little Nightmares. We'll see what this game is about, okay? <laughs> All right, folks. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. And let's begin. Give me a second here to run over. And, uh, and then we'll get started. All right. Very good. Uh-uh. <clears throat> 